skin on guys, uh, Moxification here, so today uh, I'm going to show you guys how to actually um, swap a KV for your current KV. Um, so this was requested from uh, a guy on Twitter uh, earlier today, so uh, yeah, so we're going to get into it. So basically, um, I'd like to state before, you know, uh, we get into this, um, that this is not how to flash, um, this is only how to swap, so um, if you... Um, this is only going to work if you've got like some sort of service like um, to connect to Xbox Live like um, a Conroy server or, or some offline files that have the KV spoofing or Infernus or something like that you know anything that has the KV spoofing and you know all of that other stuff so uh, yeah so uh, what you can do is you want to start off by getting a KV so you can buy a KV from um, basically any kv seller i mean you you want to get an unshared preferably but if you if you don't have a lot of money then maybe get um shared but uh shared is gonna last like a lot less time than an unshared kv uh and sometimes you do find people who are selling unshared but really the kv is shared because they want to make a little bit extra money and while they're doing that you know they're scamming you you know so um if you want to get like legit uh KVs, there's people in my um, about section on YouTube, if you click on my YouTube channel then you go to the about section, you can actually see uh, two websites where you can buy KVs and the KVs will go to your email that you buy it with, so if you use PayPal to buy it then it will go to your PayPal email and then you'll get the KV there. Um, so uh, yeah, so what you want to do is, uh, once you've got a KV, you, you normally you'll get two files, normally you'll get kv.bin and you'll have a cpu key, um, dot txt or dot bin, it could be both, um, it could be dot bin or whatever, and the kv could also be named something different, it could be a load of numbers or maybe you might get a raw, a raw file and then inside that you'll have you know the kv, the kv could be called kv underscore dec dot bin, uh, because that's what you get when you pull it from the console um but uh yeah so once you've got your kv um what you want to do is you want to um i'm, I'm going to use neighborhood for this video because neighborhood is very helpful if you don't have neighborhood set up i'll link in the description on how to uh, install neighborhood because you definitely need it it's definitely recommended um well you don't need it but because you could use a usb but i recommend it 100 percent. so i'm going to open up neighborhood uh, here we go and then gonna go into jtag then retail hard drive emulation now i'm also gonna open up uh, my capture card so you can see what's going on on the screen uh, also because i think that's helpful for uh, visual stuff so here we go so as you can see i'm on the dashboard right now uh, you know what, i'm gonna move this to the left hand side i'm just gonna move find the kv the kv's up here and the capture card is there so as you can see right now i'm on dashboard now if i test connection which I'm going to do really quick. Network settings, wired, um, test Xbox Live connection. Yes, sign everyone out. Uh, it's going to sign me out and then it's going to go through, you know, the checks, the network. Then I think it goes from uh, Xbox 360 is connected, then it does network connected, and then I think Xbox Live is um, banned. I think that's what he says. Uh, but we'll see that in a second. Uh, yeah, there you go. So network connected, internet connected, and then Xbox Live will fail and it will say the console is banned as you can see there it says console banned right there so um, what you want to do is you want to get the KV dot bin and you want to simply drag and drop that onto the root of the hard drive uh, in uh, in neighborhood now what you could do as an alternative if you don't have neighborhood what you could do is actually uh, get a USB stick put the KV dot bin on a USB stick uh, get the USB stick and put it in your Xbox load up XEX menu and basically just copy and paste it over to the root of the hard drive and it's as simple as that so once you've done that all you want to do is reboot the console so I'm going to turn it off and then in a second it will uh, I'll turn it back on so I'm, I'm going to actually exit out of full patch capture because it messes about when um, I turn it on and off it kind of glitches a bit whole patch capture it only recently started doing it as well uh, when I updated whole patch capture but you know uh, it's, it still works fine uh, so here we go so what will happen is from uh, when you turn it off and turn it back on um, it will come on so we're going to open up the uh, whole punch capture because it has started to come on right now but uh, what will happen is the console will turn on 
and then it will instantly turn off. It will let come on all lights, everything, and it will start loading up the dashboard. Then it will just turn off, and then that means that what it's doing is it's spoofing the KV. It's like it's making the KV, um, you know, spoof to the NAND. I mean, it's not really flashing to the NAND, but it's it's being uh, used as the key vault. So now it's coming on. I think I need to exit out of the whole punch capture because, like I said, the whole punch capture is very glitchy. It's been really glitchy recently uh, with the the console turning it on and off. So uh, right now it's turning on. That's my intro for the uh, for the console. And then when it turns on, there you go. We're back on. And then it says time remaining because I'm using Infernus right now. Um, and Infernus loaded, so that means I'm connected to live. And sometimes what you might have to do is, for certain servers or certain offline files, you might not get any like anything come up when you first turn it on, and you might have to go all the way to settings, system, and then network settings, and then basically just test connection, and then just do test Xbox Live connection. Yes, and then it's gonna sign me out, and then uh, it should be good. Now, uh, what I want to say is really quick this wasn't how to flash your KV now some um, sometimes um, you might not want to um, put a KV on your hard drive because people can steal it when I say people can steal it people could steal it from tools um, and other stuff um, and sometimes even Xbox Live uh, providers for you know your JTAG or RGH like some offline files might not even provide um, KV spoofing so you can't just do that you know um, so in some cases you might have to actually flash the KV to your NAND and also flashing your KV to your NAND prevents people from stealing your KV uh, whereas there are actually methods that you can do to stop people from stealing your KV anyway but uh, you know that would be the number one method now um, I will do a video on that very soon um, I'm not sure when uh, but it's definitely gonna come in the future um, because recently I've been having some trouble with it um, just stuff to do with uh, my Xbox um, uh, I think it's just the casual normal problems but I, I mean I can do it but every time I do it I mess up in some way so uh, yeah so I'm definitely going to have a video on that soon but I'm not sure when um, so uh, yeah so that's about it um, yeah uh, yeah and I think I said if you needed the KV just go to the about section and then you can buy a KV there now just really quick before I end this video I just wanted to say um, that from me doing the videos on Infernus, um, I totally understand that you guys, you know, you wanted it to be, um, uh, it was free for a long time and now it's paid. I just wanted to say now that it's definitely going to get better. There's going to be bypasses added. There's going to be some other stuff added, you know, for the, all the CODs and stuff, you know. So don't think that it's going to be terrible from now on, you know, because it's paid. It, the only thing that can happen from now and now from it being paid is it can only get better you know so uh so yeah so that's about it um and i will see you guys in the next video uh so uh yeah uh goodbye